My name is Marley Porter, and my classic is entitled Extreme Girlhood by Warson Shire. A loop. A girl born to each family, prelude to suffering. Bless the baby girl, qual of dissatisfaction, patron saint of not good enough. Are you there, God? It's me, Warson. Maladaptive, daydreaming, obsessive, disassociative, born to a lullaby lamenting melanin, newborn ears checked for the first sight of color. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Each night the child reads surahs to veil her from ill, protecting body and home from intruders. She wakes with a fright, someone cutting the rope, something creeping deep inside her. Are you there, God? It's me, the ugly one. Bless the type four child, scalp massage with the milk of cruelty, cranium cursed, crushed between adult knees, drenched in pink lotion. Everything you did to me, I remember. Mama, I made it out of your home alive, raised by the voices in my head. And my response is entitled, An Ode to Sweatpants Under Skirts. <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, who made men into beasts, I mean, Belle could train hers, but the ones I encounter holler at me on the streets. Their hazed eyes and uncanny smiles make me want to hide my skin beneath sweatpants. But my 100% polyester bland skirt lands just above my knees. In fact, it mirrors the look of my mother 30 years prior, minus the 10% of girlhood stripped from me when Dr. Baylor looked from my eyes to thigh to thigh our father, who art in heaven, who art in the dressing rooms when they reduce my body to numbers until packing labels spilled out of my mouth and I could only speak in uneaten calories. Afraid that his body and his blood would somehow make me gain weight, my tiny gray skirt no longer able to silhouette my shape. Day in and day out, I beg to put on sweatpants because not even I can bear to look at my own legs. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallow be thy name. A names, the names, we tend to call each other because it's girls supporting girls. Until we convince ourselves that Stacy slept with Bridget's boyfriend because her skirt is starting to look more like a belt. Each fold making her more and more into the monster society painted her to be. And life becomes a game of verbal tug of war and girls go home tossing and turning in their beds wishing they wore something different. But she didn't have a choice. I mean, I don't have a choice, we don't have a choice, but the stripes that Aviator Nation sweats can paint along our legs are tempting, camouflaging us from the monsters we are made to think we are. Dear Father, <laughs> it's funny how I pray to you, Father, who built men from your breath and women from his rib, exhaling masculinity in every shake of a tree limb and only letting womanhood flourish in the broken bones and promises of men. Everything you did to me, I remember. I'm going to ask mother instead. Dear mother, I pray you make this world safe again 
Tear down where the serpent lives limb by limb. Healing little girls whose self-image is rooted in the too tight clothes their mothers put them in. And girls who rattle off insults like snakes. Take your hands as supple as the blossoms of Eden and cover their ears and eyes so there is space only for our mouths to flood rooms, deciphering his truth from her truth like parting the Red Sea until Father speaks in a tongue that doesn't objectify me. And if you can't do that, Mother, at least let me wear sweatpants under my skirt. Amen. That was L.A. Lit, the poet from L.A. Lit.